So today I was asked by an instructor how to trim their Zoom recording because they had left it on during a question and answer time at the end of class and they want to trim all that section off. So really simple thing. They don't want to do any fancy editing or anything. They literally just want to chop off the last five minutes of the end of the video. So how do you do that? Well, in this case, uh, the teacher is using Windows 10. So I'm going to show you how to do it in Windows 10. If you're using a Mac, you can use QuickTime Player for that. And I'll maybe do another video later on for that. But for Windows 10, we're going to use the Photos app in Windows 10. You might not have known that. Maybe you did. I didn't the first time I thought about it. I was like, but that's for photos. But it's not. It's actually also for videos. I mean, it is for photos too. But I'm going to right click on a video here. And I'm going to open with photos. Now, if I just double clicked on it, it would try to open it up in films and TV, the regular video player in Windows 10. Uh, but that's not what I want. I want to open it up in photos. So I'm going to, this is, to me, this is the fastest way of doing it. So then click on photos, and it will automatically start it's playing. So you have to be prepared for that because all of a sudden it's going to come on. So here it is here. Now, what do I want to do with it? Well, I want to go up to edit and create and I can click on that. And there's actually other things I can do. I can actually do things with it, um, but I just want to go into trim. So once I go into trim, uh, don't be thrown off by this little blue indicator. That's just to help you figure out where you want the start and stop to be. Um, it's really these white dots at the left and the right that we want to move. So I, as I move the white dot here and as I move here, everything between those white dots is what will remain as the new video. Everything outside of that on the left and the right will be deleted. Now, you're not editing the original video. You're making a copy of it. So you'll notice up here it says save as. And so we want to make sure that's clear here that we're not actually editing the original video. We're going to keep that alone. So I'm going to move my little blue cursor back to the beginning of where I've set it. And I could press play just by clicking in the middle. We need to make a few changes. And I'll be like, OK, that looks pretty good. Uh, is the end where I want it to be? So I put a few seconds before that. And click on personal meeting room. Personal okay. meetings. That looks pretty good. So I'm happy with where that is. So now what I would do is I do save as. And by default, it's going to keep the same name and add underscore trim at the end of it. So I'm just going to leave it like that because it's easy to find. I've had it sent to my pictures folder and it's going to go along. It's actually pretty quick depending on how long it is, but actually I found this to be pretty fast for doing that. Now, here's where it gets a little confusing. Some people get confused. It comes back up to the video. This is the original video. This isn't the edited one, which throws people off, threw me off the first time too. This is not the edited video, so don't be thrown off by that. We're going to close that. And we're going to go to the pictures folder and we'll find that new video is here. Now, when you go to double click on it, it might not upload the first time. This time it did for me, but sometimes it takes a few seconds for it to kick in. But this is it now. I've trimmed it down to 53 seconds and it's ready to be shared. So that is how you trim a video using photos in Windows 10.